Christmas everyone. It's 10.30. We have been hiking now for a little under two hours. We left at around 8.30. We stopped at the hotel. The hotel owned the apartment or ran the apartment that we stayed in last night. So we uh, got to get a continental breakfast this morning from there. So we walked back there at eight, had breakfast, then we left town. But we didn't want to film like any talking because it was so loud. There were so many people, cars everywhere, traffic was crazy. So we waited until we got out in the open, <laughs> away from the road. And like, so we just hit an alternate that we're doing. I'll show a picture of what we, we did. But like you can see to the right of me, there's still all of the pilgrims on the main road are still walking by all of like the busy loud traffic. If you want to be quieter, more nature, take this alternate. It adds like 0.2 kilometers for the day. But that's not um, we'll, we'll end in uh, Vier de Mezure instead of uh, the Via Dangos del Piermo. So, um, but like I said, it's like 23 kilometers or so. Easy day. Nice. It's supposed to storm around four o'clock, so we'll be back. We'll be in time for all that. We shouldn't get rained on. Right. Yeah. I don't know if I have anything else. I feel like I had a bunch of stuff to say and now I forget. Oh, um, leaving the city, you got to do a lot of crisscrossing of the roads. Be very careful. Uh, like in 2019, two, uh, Ladies, like 60 year olds, got hit. One of them uh, didn't make it. She passed away. Uh, so just be very cognizant. Wait for the, the green guy to start telling you to go. Because <laughs> um, there will be some cars that will stop on one side, but other cars on the other side won't stop. For yeah, we, all, we did see a guy. He wasn't a pilgrim, but he decided to run across the street because the one side of traffic was stopped and he, we, he almost got hit by a car. So he had to like run out of the way. Yeah. But the city was really nice. It's a very pretty city. We walked around a little bit and saw some cool buildings and cool statues and- Crossed a river. Yeah, it was, it's very pretty. Anyway. With that, let's get going. our PCT days walking by this area that got burned. A little after 1.30, we are leaving the town of Chozas de Abajo. Means lower hut. Um, we stopped at a bar. Cafe. They, well, yeah, it's like a cafe, but they call it a bar. Um, we had some mini ham and cheese, basically grilled cheese sandwiches yeah. for lunch. The grilled cheese was 
on fire though. And we put my avocado on it. It was really good. Mm -mm -mm. Um, but the weather has changed since we have been inside. I it. Where are you going? Seventy. Oh. Yeah, it's well. I don't even know if I agree with that because we were inside a second ago. But it's about seventy degrees. But the wind has definitely picked up, and it's gotten really cloudy. So. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain on us. Not but yet. Yeah, it's supposed to rain like Kevin said get... earlier at four. <clears throat> and hopefully we'll be there by then. What do we have left? Two and a half miles. This uh this hike today has been really nice. I'm very... so glad that we're in like the wilderness. <laughs> not very... wilderness. <laughs> yes, we're definitely not in the wilderness, but we are more away from towns today. Buenos tardes. Gracias. Gracias. Um the past couple days in Leon were kind of like, ugh, no offense to the Camino or anything, but they really weren't, they were literally just in towns. Not really my favorite days, so. A lot of industry. Yeah, so leaving today and having it be more out in the fields and stuff, I'm liking it. Yeah. It's a good day. Don't mind that car. <laughs> Okay, we uh, got all checked in. Um, we're at the Albert Day de Jesus. It was only 10 euros per person per person to stay here. It's pretty nice. Uh, Leah and I got our own room, and Leah, uh, Leah, Leah, Leah number two's got his own room. <laughs> Roper's got his own room too. For now. So for now, he's got four beds to choose from. Um, but they might fill up if anybody shows up yeah but there's nobody reserved right now so and when we split off at that alternate like nobody else did and i would highly recommend it today was well that's not true beautiful the belgium couple yeah was on this route and i think like maybe four other people i've seen all day yeah it's very quiet on this route yeah way less busy yeah so like I said, it was 10 euros here. Dinner will be at seven. You don't have to reserve, just, just show up. Just show up. Um, yeah, it's a good. They do offer a kitchen if we wanted to cook dinner and there's a supermarket down the street, but. We've already done that two times in a row. Yeah, we're, yeah. Just, we're just gonna go with the group meal tonight. Yeah, and there's a bunch of showers, so. Um, with that, uh, we had, one more thing so roper did break his phone today he joined the broken phone club for the first time surprisingly yeah he dropped it like eight times i broke two phones on the at all i can say is if you're hesitant about having a case make sure you have a case if you're doing a long trail yeah they Things... fall out of your little pockets and stuff like that so, so tomorrow we're going to try to get it fixed but he's a good spirit so, you got anything? No. Uh, but, um, what about your no. joke? Oh, can I tell my joke? Yeah. Well, I used to be in a band. You know. We were called the Hinges. We opened for the doors. <laughs> it doesn't get any better. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>